Hey guys, if you like what I do on this channel, make sure you click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. If there's one thing that I like more than Lego, it's cheap Lego. So today I'm going to show you how to get a super cheap Marvel Infinity War Lego minifigure. Booyah! Here we have the Groot Avengers Infinity War Lego minifigure keychain. Now, you guys have probably seen this video online, how to turn this into a minifigure, but I'm going to show you anyway. As you can see, I got this from Target. It was originally $5.99, and it is a whopping $1.78. So let's first open them on up. So looking at this figure by itself, it actually looks pretty good. I like Groot's weird face. He's got the brown teeth. He looks like that uh, angry teenage Groot. Don't take away his handheld video game. He's got some great back, back printing on here. And the one thing about these keychains is all the hands and all that stuff moves as they normally should move. The only thing is, I guess the head does turn, but uh, they have this keychain right on the top here. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of this keychain part from this actual figure. You're going to need a few items. Some type of pliers or forceps. The rare and elusive pink lighter from Circle K and a candle. First thing that we're going to have to do is light this candle. If you're not 18, make sure you get a parent's permission. So let's go ahead and light it. And let's turn off the lights for the mood effect. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is I have to grip this right here, the keychain with the forceps, and I need to keep this far enough from the head so it doesn't burn the actual plastic head, but close enough to where it heats up the metal. Now this will get pretty hot, and as it gets hot it's going to get a little stinky. But I'm hoping that as we kind of go along this thing's going to get warmed up and it's going to pull this keychain out. Now I haven't tested this theory, I've only seen it online. I'm not an expert, I'm just an enthusiast. So I could feel it and I can actually start smelling it. It smells a little bit like uh, burnt metal here. Now again, I want to keep it close enough to where it's heating up that last chain on there, but far enough away so it doesn't actually burn the headpiece. I can kind of feel it coming out, almost. There we go! And when it's all said and done, this is the result that you have. If you're looking at it face on, this thing looks like a regular minifigure. Now, the, there are a couple differences here. So if I take the head off, you'll notice that that spike went all the way down in there. And actually, if I take the torso off, you're going to see this plastic piece, which LEGO doesn't normally put in their minifigures, goes all the way down to the legs and it's connected there. But if you cover this up, you could barely tell that there's any difference there. And with the exception of the hole in the top of the head, which he does have, and I actually burned it a little too close to the metal, so the hole is a little bit uneven. But with the exception of that, it looks really close to a regular minifigure. So guys, that's what I have for today. And if you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, you can help us take a gander. Wait, 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 before you click away, why don't you click one of these other Toy Gander videos? If you like this one, you're definitely going to like these. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload twice a week, one on Wednesday, one on Saturdays, and you don't want to miss out on what I upload next.